Was there anything you felt like I missed on the... No, I felt like I threw you off when I asked you the question midstream. Well, no, 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 but I mean, it was a relevant question. Yeah. For sure. You know, that that that's the thing, that performance anxiety is so... It runs so deep. And I mean, and we covered it in a lot, even more depth. I mean, we, I feel like we covered pretty deep just on well, this show. It's a huge issue. It's a huge. It's a common issue. Yeah. And it stops everything else in its tracks. I mean, if you're dealing with that, nothing else matters. Yeah. But you have, do have a very good point about the young guys or guys that are inexperienced. Yeah. The more educated you are, the more confident you are going in. It's true. It's the unknowing, you know, and again, this is one of those things that people think, well, you should just know. Well, and girls especially think you should just know. Right. You know. Right. They don't know how you know. You know, I mean, and that's the thing. There's so many, that's the things with this, is a girl will go along with whatever he does. It's true. You know. Yeah. So, but I do like, you got to really hammer it into these guys' heads that on the front end, you know, the first weeks, month, just do whatever turns you on. Right. And she'll be along for the ride. Right. It's know? true. It's true. But from I think, and I, I try to hammer the education stuff without only making it sound like I'm doing it just to sell a product, but it's true. If think of, think of, you know, even if you were like going into a new job, if you go in knowing zero about the industry, you're going to be less confident than if you've done some research, you know general things even, or about the company itself or whatever the case may be. You know, if you have information, you're better equipped to roll with what's coming at you, especially if it's unknown. Mm -hmm. You just know more. Yeah. It's just a better way to you go have, about it. You have it. a framework to work with them. Yeah. You know? It's like a guy asked about Physical escalation. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. I sent him a link to the DiCarlo escalation ladder. Yeah, it goes the whole thing. It's everything you need to know. Man, we need you know? to we need to cover that yeah. on the hustle. That's okay. yeah, that because that would be really good because you kind of need the visual representation to really Guys fully give that. that. And if you didn't know, you know after you got that you got done with the PDF. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? It's so fucking good because guys truly don't know. I love it. And, and I liked, like, even they explained, like, let's say, you know, you're talking about over a multiple dates. You can, you don't have to keep walking it up. Right. It's it's up to you, but sometimes you can jump to where your last spot was, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, it's just like arguing. It's not like you ever start back at zero. Yeah. You start back at essentially where you left off last time. One of my questions would be with the, um, with the repulsion. Yeah. What do girls do if they deal with that with their husband? <laughs> they they start cheating. They break up. They, no way. I mean, if you're repulsed by your husband and I meant to actually I'm I'm I meant to actually like go into that where then you'll find that they kind of pull away. They start pulling away. Literally, it's it's almost like um a subconscious thing, an unconscious thing. You reach out for them and they start pulling away where they never did before. But now your wife of 25 years literally does not want you to touch her. Right. And, and men can tell what men, women can tell too, but it happens less for on from the women's side. Men can tell. It's like, I've heard women say, he just makes my skin crawl. It makes my skin crawl for him to touch me. Yeah. And that happens once you're repulsed by someone, right. they feel dirty. It just like even even casual touching, like in a friendship way, is truly repulsive. Hmm. You know, where it, it wasn't a month ago or a day ago. Can you imagine how confusing that is for a guy? Oh, one thousand percent. Especially, especially if it's alcohol fueled in the first place, and maybe he doesn't even have any real recall of what happened. I mean, this thing that I remember about my high school boyfriend—I I didn't know that story. He probably has no 
recollection no. whatsoever. And I can't see his fat little face without thinking about it. I knew I, you told me the um, the light switch. Story. Yeah, That's yeah. Cool. It's Again, a pretty funny fucking and, story. And when you do tell that, if you're giving it a, a, a demonstration, yeah. also remind guys, no self-depreciating humor oh damn it that, and that's why i've always that's how i've always shared yeah. that yeah well, i mean nothing good can come out of that no so just avoid it at all costs and that's how that's the the base of why i've always shared that story in the in the past that social circle guy story was the self-deprecating humor yeah. it's just not not sexy at all Oh, it repulses women. How do you spell that? Self-deprecating. D-E-P-R-C-A-T-I-N-G. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's like deprocating. <laughs> but yeah, I felt like I felt like there was a lot of stuff that that I was glad that. Um, Billy jumped in with the story about like taking a sip of the girl's drink. Yeah. And it kind of ending it in well, a way because that was a good example of of something less dramatic than a guy whipping his dick out in a drunken well, frenzy. Again, or, that's why like I give like five or six examples of like you know, where the girl goes, he blew his nose into the napkin. Mm -hmm. Or he ate with his fingers. And and I tell guys you don't have any control over this. You know, if, if she, you know, these girls will talk about, like, why they dumped a guy. Yeah. You know, he, he blew his nose in a napkin at the table. You know, it'll be, I'm like, you can't worry about it. Right. Who knows? Yeah. She'll well, find something else. And know? like you talk about so often, it's, a lot of it's dependent on how she was raised, what her father did. If her father did that, if he, he always ate with his fucking fingers, yeah. And he had no manners. Yeah. Then it probably is a, is just like white noise to her. It's a moot point. But if her father had good table manners or, yeah. you know, whatever Something's the case may there. be. Yeah. And yeah. Just like, but it's funny, like you said about the drinking thing, it's better just not to do it. It's you know better I mean? to keep your, your wits about you. Yeah. You need, you have to, you're in charge of the whole evening. So if you get sloppy drunk out on a date, Nothing you can't protect mind. her, you can't be in control of yourself, you can't control her, no. you know. Again, and you can't control, you're not controlling how much she's taken in girls either. Over, girls, I think any girls over like 27 or 28 are already on the lookout for alcoholics. Yeah. Because they dealt with one. It's true. And there's no, there's no like, I mean, they're on, they're on, they got their radar up. But I do think that more often than not, the repulsive behavior that's like the the switch that flick, mm -hmm. flips in women is alcohol fueled. Interesting. I really do, because because guys do stupid shit stupid, stupid that shit. they don't we that they think is hilarious, and she doesn't. I love it. Oh my gosh, I almost, right before we went on, I saw on Instagram where um, one of my Wisconsin girlfriends, who's like feminazi, but I adore her anyway, um, had posted like, had shared somebody's post. It was like, I think we should probably talk about it on one of the hustle That's shows. Right. It was, it was very much like, you know, saying, Girls have been are always are raised to be so submissive and just you know be on good behavior and and please you know all of this stuff and it was essentially like this is why you know we need to we need to stop doing that we need to make the voice of women an okay thing or whatever I'm like no that's called having manners you oh, know yeah. I mean. Being pleasant and polite and knowing how to exit uncomfortable situations is called manners. Yeah. But and how to have a balanced conversation too. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you're going to run into things in business, in social circles, in all kinds of walks of life 
that are not always comfortable and that you either want to get out of or you need to be able to handle if you're you know stuck in it for some reason so I, I screenshot them. I think they would be really good to go through and okay. have a conversation yeah. about. I love it. I thought it was good. I thought it was a good day. I hope so. I hope people got something well, from it. Our our okay is actually pretty good. 